All right, my friends. Oh, we still got a bad shadow there. What do I do? This? <laughs> oh, lordy. Let's just move you. Nope, can't do that either. I know. What? It's my hat. Last year was a cloudy day. Well, we're going to just have to eat it, I guess. Huh, what can we do? I guess I have to take off my hat. Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to Bruce's shop. Today is August the 7th, 2022. I don't have a hat on because you can't see my eyes. From the sun, it is a blasting warm, sunny day today. Which has really been different because the last five days, just like last year, but a, day, a couple of days off, it's been very, very cool. Uh, the furnace came on on the house yesterday. And, uh, here, how am I doing here? And, uh, we had our little niece in, and uh, she's two now, eh? <laughs> and it was so cold in the house, we had to turn the, the furnace on. It was less than 17 degrees Celsius in the house, which is, what, 63 Fahrenheit? Just for my friends down south. Uh, so, yes, we'll talk about the weather later. So, August the 7th. 2021 you watched that video a year ago now but <laughs> and thank you for the great comments um, my uh, father had just passed a month prior to that video and uh, sadly a month after uh, th th that video was published in September my dear wife Trudy her mother passed away so we lost both our parents in 2021 a tough year you know with uh, COVID going on. No, they, neither one of them did uh, did pass from that, but COVID took out a lot of people. Uh, and just a month ago, uh, good friends of ours just uh, lost her sister from COVID. And just this week, we know two people who contracted COVID. Now, uh, so it's still out there. It doesn't seem to be as ragingly difficult as it was a year ago in 2022, which is now. I know it's weird, right? But coronavirus is still out there. Monkeypox is the new thing that's in the news quite a bit. Uh, that will be really interesting to see where that goes. Um, it's, you know, it's it's the it's been declared an emergency, so that's that's important. Uh, back to the weather. Uh, it's been a strange year for weather. This spring, we had uh, oh, a month solid of rain. Just a month solid. We have a sump pump in our basement for that very purpose. That collects... We're dog sitting, an old dog. Her name's Hannah. You'll see her. Uh, so anyway, we have a sump in our basement with a sump pump in it. And that sump pump ran for a month straight. We had inches of rain. You know, it was almost frightening. <coughs> And then three weeks ago, it dried right up, went to 30 degrees Celsius, and uh, like for a month, dried everything right out. And then the last four days, except for today, it has been cool, like I mentioned. You know, furnace came on yesterday. I'm repeating myself, repeating myself. Uh, but anyway, that, that's been it. Oh, we got new soffits, fascia, and cladding on the house. I'll just show you that right now. It's on the garage too, right? But there's the uh, fascia on the garage. Looks really, really good. And on the windows and around the big doors on the garage. The full front of the house was done and there's lots of wood trim out there. So the guys had to work really hard on that. There is, it's in a video somewhere. Gosh knows where, eh? <laughs> a few weeks ago. You'll find it. Um, major thing happening here. I organized all my used parts. They're still in boxes in the shed. You know, that I got that shelf, the top shelf in the in the shed, which is box one, box two, box three, uh, box two boxes of Honda, two boxes of Briggs, three boxes of Tecumseh, that type of thing. 
And then uh, I have some external watertight boxes, but uh, for storage that I replaced. I used to use those old boxes over there. And then uh, now I bought some watertight boxes. And uh, I keep my blades and height adjusters and um, what else would be in there? Wheels and all that stuff. You don't need to store that stuff inside, but it should be out of the weather. And uh, so that, that's been it. This, this plant behind me is a million bells, John Ash, this year. But look how late it is, so everything's dried right out. We've got to do some water and right after this video. Bill and Thomas, Tom Haney, suggested that they mentioned it's 8 7, the date, eh? Sorry. 8 7 2023. It sounds like some kind of a legal code, but that's what next year's will be on. 8 7 2023 will be next year's. I just thought that was kind of cute. And, uh, we did get to Mexico this year, and you know because it was had been a couple of years because of COVID, it was an extra special trip. We went, and my old pal that I met in kindergarten, who's been a lifelong friend. In fact, his brother married into the family, so they are part of the family. But you know how it is when you get older; uh, you tend to just see each other at at uh, when someone passes and there's a service or something. So there's one less person at the gathering each time you see these people which is kind of sad. But anyway, my, my buddy Dale, from, from way back, we met when we were five, uh, they came down and uh, managed to find a spot in, uh, in, in our uh, condo where we rent. We don't own, <laughs> we rent. So anyway, let me take you for a little quick tour of the yard. Uh, not, you know, I, I've done a little, I've done a few more yard tours this year and that's fine, right? So let's just unhook you and we'll take you for a small tour. And I'm just gonna try something here. Look at that. So this is the kohlrabi. I'm going to just do something, folks. There we are, back in. That's the kohlrabi. It looks like some kind of a, if they exist, I don't know, a UFO creature or something. And they're beets, so that's that's fun. This is a, these are impatience, and they're all just a little bit dry. You can see the edges of them are just crunching up a little bit, right? So, back over here. I can probably move this now. I just put this here. Oh, she's digging again, the little... Our, our guest dog is digging. But there's my five tubs. Uh, wheels. Different wheels, hubcaps, height adjusters, uh, lawn mower, uh, mower blades, um, thatcher blades and transmissions, that kind of stuff. I'm going to put this back here because she's been digging, eh? Just so she, the dog doesn't dig here. I don't like that. And then I'll just show you in my shed. I know there's been a video on it. We'll see what it looks like next year, eh? <laughs> so, you, it's pretty dark. But now we have bench... I'll come right in. Now we have bench space in the garage. Right? And those are all my parts that I talk about. So these are my parts. My parts are there. And I'll just turn you off and we'll show you the last collection of my parts. Alright, so you guys are familiar with this. So up there, filters, cables, gas caps and spark plugs, rewinds, and then coils. And then down over here, Course, you've got Honda carburetors, brakes carburetors, Tecumseh carburetors, and then uh, this is cool. That white basket is wheel adapters. I'll just get you like this, and that's my parts. That's if it gets any bigger than that, I edit, which I've been doing. I call that editing. Thanks, guys. Oh, I don't buy my tractors is where I collect my my metal bin stuff. You'll see that. Thanks. So here's the, uh, the what we call a salad garden. There's a few onions there, bigger ones, and then there's the small salad onions, beets, a flower that we want to hang back up now that the fascia is done. We need to put a hook in, which is right here. And we'll just put that there so I remember it. Carrots, uh, turnips. 
lettuce. We're still getting lettuce out of the garden. And those are my old tubs. My buddy Steve OJ is taking those. We don't use those anymore. And tomatoes are, are wimpy this year, but we planted mostly, um, what do you call it? Not heritage varieties, but, excuse me. They're dry. Dry, baby. We gotta get some watering done. The apple tree. The apples are not going to be that big this year, eh? My hand. That's probably because it's been wet and then dry. Here's our uh, cooking onions. This year I bought a package of mix. So there'll be a white one, a yellow one, a red one. But they're doing gangbusters. Um, the peas have been bad this year because of the inconsistent weather. The corn's been good. Um, but the, it's only a four, four foot variety, not an eight, six foot or eight foot variety like last year. But they are loaded up. Uh, Beautiful clematis, eh? But the corn is, we're on a wooden platform, we're up six inches. So that's still pretty good. Think about where I live, guys. On the edge of the Arctic. Not quite. The beans look thrashed, but we've actually picked three times in here now. So they're getting, you know, each time you pick they get a little more beat up. The potatoes over there, there's Hannah. The potatoes over there. Uh, are not that good. I think they need water. Lots of it. Uh, pumpkin. You can see ooh, right there. Can you see that little round green one there? And they all just go gangbusters now. And we have, yeah, everything's wimping out from the heat. You can see the, the leaves on that squash plant. That's a squash. Spaghetti squash. Uh, are drooping down. So we're going to get some water on this corn and beans and trees and everything. So there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys. The only piece of junk in my in my uh, junk pile and it's not a piece of junk is my little Weenie roast barrel. That's a uh, that's a washing machine tub. Everything else is in good is good stuff. So plants, potentella, lily, delphinium, ferns. Oh, we better fix this. There we go. My wife knows the names of some of these. We have poppies in here, but they've just stopped blooming. More lilies. That's a wild geranium, I believe. Not wild, but... Okay, million bells. Petunias with a moose behind them. Here's Herb's garden, right? You guys all know Herb. This is cilantro, basil, oregano, and uh, rosemary. Now this is my favorite flower of all. Is the begonia. We have three, pardon me, we have three colors, the red ones and the orange ones. So we're not going to go out front, you guys saw that earlier this year. We're going to go back and put you on your perch. It's getting hot, I might have to put my hat on. So the weather here, where we, well the weather is crazy everywhere. I'm back. So, my friends, this is August the 7th, 2022. You'll be watching this in 2023. 
Uh, I hope everybody is healthy and can watch it in uh, August the 7th, 2023. Uh, there's a few watching my channel right now that are struggling a little bit. You're, my thoughts are with you. And I hope you're watching this in 2023, my friends. And uh, we'll call it. Uh, hope I didn't bore you with the yard stuff, but we put a lot of time into that. And uh, so have a good year, stay well, and uh, thanks for watching Bruce's Shop. I, I, I hope I can keep it interesting for you. And uh, goodbye. And thanks once again.